Hello and welcome to another video. We are here in a guest house on top of a hill in a city called Ursule in the northeast part of the island of Sardinia in the southwest part of Italy off of the coast of the mainland of Italy and today we will be going on a long hike to some of the most famous beaches in all of Italy and also arguably in all of Europe. They are located here behind the mountains. We have a steep drop of the mountains on this side here. And what we are doing now is we're packing our bags and then we will be heading out on about a 45 minute drive and then a hike that will take perhaps a long time. <laughs> so we have to first drive across the mountains to the other side and on the other side we have all the incredible beaches. Hello! So I'm standing here by the car now and we are getting ready to start driving but it has turned out that it's way harder to travel Sardinia than what we first thought. There are a couple of different famous hikes here to a beach called Cala Colorizze and Cala Mariolu. Those are the two most famous ones here but I just found out that it's really really hard to reach them uh, and also if you don't book uh, on this specific app in advance then you can't start your hike even it seems like they don't even let you in because I asked somebody that lived here in Sardinia their whole life and they said you need to make a reservation for the hike to Cala Colorizze like 48 hours in advance I wanted to go to Cala Colorizze today but it's probably not gonna happen however I have found out that there are boat trips that go along the coastline here so we will start out by driving to a city uh, further down the coast here where I found out that the boats are leaving from on both trips so we will be taking the car here and trying to figure out and book the boat trip for tomorrow so now we will be starting to drive to the city called Gononne and that is where the boats leave from um, so we have to figure that out first and then go on a hike to Cala Luna which is also really famous cave and beach here. It's time to figure this out so we can see the most famous places here in Sardinia eventually but it does require a lot of planning I have just found out. Cala Golorizze, Cala Merido, Cala Luna. <laughs> It had been hard to plan our trip in Sardinia, but we were heading to one of very few cities along the coast called Calagonon, a bit north from the most famous area on the island called Baune. There were no streets leading to the very end of the coastline because of the steep mountains. We've been going for like 15 minutes and uh, these roads here are kind of crazy. They're so high up and uh, you can see the incredible mountains on the left side here. We've been driving now for uh, 40 minutes or so and we are coming closer to the city of Calagonon. It was a windy road and uh, first, first it was going up the mountain and then down the mountain and uh, the beach and the water is coming up here on the right side. So I'm excited to get out and figure this thing out. Now we have arrived to the city of Gonon, so I'm gonna see if I can buy a boat ticket here for tomorrow. That's the plan for now. We had finally reached the city of Calagonon and found out that this was one of very few places where the boats go from that take you out to the most famous places on the island. And you will stop in three beaches. Okay. We go in Calamariolo, more or less two hours, and in other okay. two beaches, one hour and a half, two hours, uh, it depends. Okay. Can you stop and go on to the beach in Mariolo? Yes, yes, yeah? you arrive like this, uh, ah, on okay. the sand. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Calagorita is a national park. Ah, okay. It means okay. that okay. it's yeah, around the Trevoyas, and, yeah, and it's not yeah. possible to reach okay. the beach with the boat. So I've been here for a while now, trying to figure out the deal, and uh, I finally got these tickets, but for tomorrow. Uh, they have one big boat trip that pretty much goes to 
almost all the most famous beaches and uh, sightseeing places here in all of the whole coast um, we paid 55 euros per person so a total of 110 euros for two people to go all day it starts at 10 in the morning but they have departures 9 10 11 and 12 it will be going to um, Cala Golorice, Cala Maria Mariudu. <laughs> Those are the two most famous ones. And also a few of the other beaches. So now I know actually most, if not all, of the information about this whole coast here. Uh, Cala Golorice is one of the most famous beaches, as I've said previously in this video. But that beach is not accessible from any boat trip so tomorrow when we go on the boat trip they will not let us get onto that beach because it's a world heritage site the boat will stop 200 meters off of the shore and you cannot swim onto the beach but you can do a hike to Cala Colorize but then you ha have to reserve your tickets from an app that I have found out and uh, I will link that app in the description of this video and on that app you can book your tickets but you have to book them a day or two in advance and then you have to drive uh, kind of close by to Cala Colorize park there and you can hike by showing them the ticket that you booked from this app but all the other beaches are accessible by boat and some of them you can hike to but it's a bit unclear still which ones you can hike to and which ones you cannot hike to it seems like the only one you can hike to is Cala Golorice the other ones have too steep of a mountain so you can't get there by uh, walking or hiking <laughs> <laughs> so this day today has been only full of planning and trying to figure out what to do and where to go we got back into the car and started driving to Cala di Fuili and this is where the hike starts to go to Cala Luna and uh, we have about a quarter of a mile left to the parking but both sides of the road are Shit. totally packed with cars if only we had a really mini Fiat it was already getting a bit late in the day since we hadn't planned much but we had driven as far as we could down the coast to see if we could reach one of the beaches and go swimming I think we should go in reverse instead probably No, because I'm <clears throat> This guy, he doesn't know what to do, he's like stuck here But we can't go in reverse because there is a big line of cars now behind us also Cars parked on both sides of the road here and then <clears throat> cars coming and now this car on this side is trying to turn around but uh, <laughs> he can't come because there's a big line and it's blocked on both sides yeah look. we found the parking here finally after a long time So we have arrived here to the first beach now and uh, we decided to skip out on the hike because it's about 37 degrees Celsius. I don't know how many Fahrenheit that is, but well over 100 Fahrenheit. And after five minutes, it just started dripping like crazy from uh, our faces. So it wouldn't be a good idea to hike for an hour and 20 minutes across the mountain here. So for now, we'll be going down to this incredible beach here. And uh, that's where we will be staying for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, go on this boat trip that I've been speaking about now in the whole video. And then on the trip, we will see the whole coastline and all of the famous beaches fry deep frying today i think it's the hottest day out of the whole summer since i came to europe for sure
Is it cold in the water? What? Is it cold? No, hot? it's actually a perfect temperature. It's way warmer than the cenotes in Mexico. Yeah. All right, we're here in the water. It's actually really nice. The temperature is perfect. And uh, I would guess about 25 Celsius, probably. 80 Fahrenheit or so. I can't believe it. Oh, it's not cold and it's not hot. hot. It's a perfect temperature. Whoa. Oh. Here we go. Now we're going for a long swim somewhere. Oh. We're gonna jump a bit here now. There's a little platform you can jump from. Not that high, but we're gonna try. so nice and I also found some caves that I swam into just to take a deep breath and then go back out again. We were swimming for a while and came back and the one bad thing actually about most of the beaches here is that they all have really big rocks on them so it really hurts your feet but uh, that also makes the water more clear when you have rocks on the beach because there's no sand that can be mixed into the water and make it murky. We spent a few hours at the beach and now we're leaving. It was such a good day even though it took a long time before we got started since we had to figure all this stuff out for tomorrow. But it ended up being great since we got to see this really incredible beach here. But we will be heading back in the car and uh, going to sleep and getting ready for tomorrow. So we came back to the car here and noticed that every single car on this street got a parking ticket. Look, but we didn't get it. I don't know how. This is the last car that got it. This is our car and we didn't get it probably because we are not really over the line we're not blocking the actual road but these cars here are blocking the road are you happy that we didn't get the parking ticket yes because <laughs> obviously i wouldn't even know like where to go pay it like where we would, would we probably just have charged our credit card at the car rental place and it would be like all in italian like we wouldn't yeah. even know like bello bello 500 bello. euro you bello. pay it now you pay it now or we charge you 1500 euro <laughs> We started driving again but stopped here because the view was so nice and the incredible mountains so many nice views here in Sardinia I can't believe it and this is the car here I really like the car also it's pretty cool <laughs> impatient people that oh, look at this guy yeah he's coming and oh, there's a car right oh there oh my gosh he just passed us <laughs> people are so impatient here it's crazy we were reading on the internet how like a lot of people getting car accidents here oh. <laughs> we're back in Ursule and now we're going to a restaurant here La Ruta La Ruta 
we came back now to the city where we have been staying and uh, stopped at the restaurant and I got some kind of sausage <laughs> sausage and uh, grilled veggies for 9 euros Maria also got the same thing so let's try the sausage um, I also some kind of typical bread for Sardinia it's paper thin so we're eating the sausage here but it's really pink it looks like it hasn't been cooked <laughs> so I hope we're not gonna get a bad surprise in the night I have to go to the toilet it's so like red it's not cooked oh. we have a ride back to the Airbnb we had to escape from the sausages the sausages, the scary sausages. Run from the sausage! Yeah, I'm leaving the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, Boo Boo? That way. To the right. In there. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> oh, do I have the key? I think so, yeah. We are back to the Airbnb and this is the end of the video. The next video should probably be the very best video of this Sardinia trip because we're going on a boat trip as I've already said <laughs> in this video but that boat trip will be taking us all along the coast so if you want to see that click the red subscribe button below this video and also click the bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload something and also please leave this video a thumbs up and you can post a comment if you want but see you in the next video and thanks for watching Thanks for watching Maria today. She is very happy that you watched her. <laughs> Tanned. Like, only on my. It always happens. I never tan right here.